Hello, my friends, and welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Art Talk with Ferretta. I am, of course, the great and mighty Ferretta, and this uh, uh, episode, I guess, it's hard to call it an episode when it's been like six years since you last did one, but anyway, this episode is a special one, as I'm sure you've gathered by the title and thumbnail and all that jazz. On April 7th, 2013, I posted the very first page of A Tale of Tales, now supertitled Ferillian Legends. If you're bad at math, that's 10 years ago, which is a quarter of my life. So I'd figure I'd mark the occasion with a, you know, a bit of a team poster and uh, this whole talky thing that I sometimes do. While we're working on that, pay no attention to the uh, Vix rocking the absolute living fuck out over in the corner. She had uh, one sip of Fen's energy drink, and she has been going ballistic since then. Actually, it's just 12 hours of her dancing sped up to fit within a span of 20 minutes, but, you know, it's funnier that way. Uh, also, at some point in the video, I switch over to using the VOD from my, st from my stream, which means quality drops a little bit for a, for a short period of time because uh, I forgot to hit record being that I am as it were a twat anyway let's talk about the comic if you don't know the history of the comic it all began with two little sketches and a random idea about tail painting magic red pandas and a brotherhood of knights called Battlecocks. The original concept was about Battlecocks. Anyway, at some point I set up a small world section for some uh, erotic role-playing, which is what became the temple. Developed the first two characters, which is Miss Alia and Vix, and my co-host for the session made the character that is now Finavi. These sessions eventually became the loose bases for chapters 1 and 2 of the comic, and everything's just kind of snowballed from there. So we went from a pair of sketches and some erotic role-playing to... A world with hundreds of potential kingdoms, a million-year backstory, sci-fi structures that poses magic systems, dragons, electric motorcycles, anti-gravity pirate skyships, we'll get to those, and a universe-eating universe entity that wants to eat all the universes. I have no idea how I got here. I think people just asked questions along the way and I made shit up on the fly to answer them. Which is, honestly, the funnest way to write. Either way, you know, not, not bad for a first real writing slash comic project. Uh, incidentally, we also passed 500 pages a couple of weeks ago, which uh, means that on average we have done 50 pages a year, which is almost one page per week for 10 years straight. Not bad. I also took on Dreadwolf as a co-writer because he's spent a few years developing his own stories within my world and I figured I really could use some extra help in uh, you know keeping me going forward and figuring out where I want to go and you know adding fun ideas and new new things to the comic. Speaking of going forward, what is the future for our Phoenician god inheritor and her intrepid band of twats. I reckon we have like at least three to five more years of work on the main story arc, depending on how much I feel like elaborating. Uh, originally, I was actually planning on bringing things to a climax towards the end of chapter seven, uh, but you know, we are now on chapter seven and I'm nowhere near that, so uh, you know. I guess I could just make it like a nice round 10 chapters. We'll really just have to see how it goes. 
Honestly, so much of the comic is just made up as I go. Like, I, I will write a roadmap of each chapter before starting that chapter, and then just write a few pages ahead of the art progression. So, in that regard, everything is always just kind of fluid and moving. Which makes it even more impressive that I've been able to keep things relatively consistent for 10 years. Anyway, um, when I finish the whole thing, uh, one of the things that I would really love to do is find the time and hopefully monetary support to redraw the entire comic from scratch, which would involve hiring some help to get the art side done, uh, rewrite the entire script to be a lot more cohesive and uh, better written, and then have all of that just pulled together to create a physical release. That's still years down the line though, so don't panic just yet. But of course, Tale of Tales isn't the only project I've been working on now, is it? Uh, Space Vixen is certainly a thing of its own, and one that I would love to get back to sometime soon, eventually. And, uh... Yeah, I know I keep saying that, and then not doing it. But in fairness, running two webcomics by yourself is a massive undertaking. Especially at the level and pace that I'm working at. I do have plans for Vix in space, but... Currently, so much of my time is taken up by work that I haven't really had neither the time or energy to dig into it. We'll get to it, though. Speaking of time and work and things, how am I doing on the work front? Well, it's been about two years since I quit my job to do commissions and art for a living, and so far it's been a smashing success. I, I won't say I'm working less than I did in my old job, but I'm certainly working a lot more happy. Uh, my first official year of business has results that were well above what I was originally aiming for as my minimum. So my second one is actually aiming higher than that again. So far, we're good on track. Uh, most of you know, or at least might know, that I bought a house that I've been renovating. And I'm still working on that, even if it's been like a year since the last video update. Okay, it's, it's like six months, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'll make a new video soon to talk about that and just elaborate on plans and figure out a, like a loose time frame for some things. It's, it's hard to do much when your next project is ripping open the kitchen floor in order to replace the entire structure, and the room underneath is the cellar, which is two degrees Celsius midwinter, and full of mice. I've gotten rid of the mice, at least. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a separate thing. Um, so, I, uh, I put out a thing on Titter, it, um, Dozier, Twa twatter. Twatter, that's the word. I put on a thing on Twatter. <sighs> fucking... Fucking meme lord McCringe over there. Always just fucking with everything. Anyway, I asked people to submit questions for me to answer. So, uh, here we fucking go. Neo asks, What is Miss Alia's favorite pastime other than smashing? Uh, well, she plays violin and runs horrific inhumane science experiments on orphans. Half of that was a lie. Sharkbait asks all of these. Of the following, will one die in the story? Miss, Fen, Hadi, Dalin, Lamb, Mika, Deep. Who the fuck is Deep? Anyway, no, no, of course not. <laughs> I'd never do that. Will we see more of Tobin? Maybe. Are you willing to kill off characters to hurt the audience? Only if you deserve it. No, but I am willing to do so to write a good story. Will Vix's past be explored? Mm, we kind of already did. Just not her upbringing, 
uh, since she grew up at the temple and not much happened to her. Maybe, I guess. We'll see. Tala and Obnixus ask, How are you doing today, slash, how have you been lately? I'm doing fine. I'm a bit tired most days, but that's really my own fault for not sleeping quite as much as I should. I'll fix that eventually. Something 2 asks, Are you going to update the lower corner of the website? Yes. Yes, I, I plan to remodel the entire website, which would also ne then include Vix, uh, space fixing, uh, when I have the time and energy to do so. You know, m maybe I'll like add like a, a wiki or something as the lore side of things. I don't know. We'll have to see. Kansaki asks, what games do you enjoy and what would you recommend to others? Well, my first console was an NES, so that should tell you how long I've been doing game stuff. Uh, so I have a very wide and varied taste in games. Mm, I'd say my favorites that I would absolutely recommend are Chrono Trigger, the Doom series, especially 2016, Dark Souls 1, Hollow Knight, and Outer Wilds. Not Outer Worlds, that's a Bethesda thing, fuck Bethesda. Outer Wilds. Cody asks, If you could go on one date with any of your characters, who would it be? Vix. She is, uh, she's pure, innocent, sexy, soft, smart, and fun. And she'll definitely not be wearing panties under that short skirt. So, I know I'll be getting some. Lude. Um... Null asks, what jobs did you have before the art thing, and what degrees do you have? Uh, well, I have a degree as an electrician, specifically domestic electrics, and a degree as a graphic designer, specializing in media design. Uh, I went to school for the electrician degree. I did not go to school for the design or the art stuff. Work-wise, I've worked seven years in a job placement program as a graphic designer, which is also where I got my graphic design degree, as well as eight years for the local municipality, not where I live now, but previously, uh, doing the same thing, as well as uh, IT, uh, video work, audio engineering. I, I've done a lot of things for the municip municipality. Um, it's also the job that drove me to stop doing graphic design and start doing art. So, you know, I should tell you how that works. Jura asks, how the hell are you so capable of so many things and being an expert at them? Art, electrical work, IT, filming, construction work, how? Well, um... One of those was my original career plan, and the rest is just stuff I've learned over the years. Construction work is essentially just adult Lego, where you also have to make the pieces. Uh, video stuff I've had to do a lot of in my municipality job. Art stuff I've been practicing for the last 20 years. IT stuff I've been doing my entire life. So let's just say computers have been my best friends since childhood. Uh, I'm also of the mind that anyone can do anything they decide to do, as long as they are willing to put in the effort and work to learn and understand the things that they are doing. Which is, like, I built an entire bathroom on my own from the raw structure all the way up to finished tile work, plumbing, electrical, concrete, I did everything. I certainly found a few challenges along the way, but I learned and I solved them. The only way to achieve is to try. Deef asked, how far ahead do you have the story planned? Uh, in specifics, a few pages. But I always have a loose idea of where I'm going and what the aim is, so, you know, all the way, I guess. Mm -hmm. Riri asks, what was your inspiration for starting the comic? Um, Cybersex and Okami. 
sums it up nicely, yeah. Patrick asks, Given it's the Easter weekend, did you stumble into making the path less akin to straight-up fatalism and more like the Calvinist view of prod providential provisions? I know what some of those words mean. <laughs> um, as a complete and other heathen, uh, who does not believe in any greater power other than what we ourselves can produce, I've actually put a lot of effort into avoiding the use of any kind of supernatural religious beliefs. Aside from the occasional slip-up, there has pretty much never been any use of phrases like Oh God, or God damn it, or anything like that. Because the people of Foreliar have no actual concept of a greater being or God. The path itself is loosely based off of a fairly well-used concept of futurism, wherein entire civilizations upload their minds into a great collective and live out the rest of their existence within that for, like, basically immortality in a digital world. In this case, it's a bit of a mix, since, you know, people had the ability to jump in and out at will. Mr. Nick asks, Híjole, pus de preguntas, tengo muchas, pero una en específico es que por favor no haga que maten a Vix. I don't speak Spanish. Okay, Google Translate? Google Translate. Hejole pus of questions, I have many, but one in particular is that please do not get Vix killed. Okay. That's not a question. Moving on. Rodrigo asks, also in Spanish, so more Google Translate, go. Hello, it's me again. If you were looking for me, here I am to listen to you. See you and many other things. And also, I don't know, is it me or am I the only one who is talking to you about another place and another language? But still, I like it and what you do is beautiful and I don't know if someone has told you, but thank you. Thanks to you. You helped me change since I began to see and hear you and much more thanks to you I began to be a little more different and I promise that if I ever graduate and go to university I will study to become a director. Thank you from movies and actor. Also not a question, but go get him, buddy. You got this. Uh, several people asked... Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're taking my job here. Um, several people asked, Is there a planned end for Tale of Tales? Yes. In fact, it's a driving force of the story. So, I actually figured that part out very early on. Um, a little trick to, uh, to storytelling, especially in a long format, is figure out where the story is going to end so that you know what you're building towards. So, essentially, I've known for many years how the comic is going to end. The, uh, the when is an entirely different question, but, you know, several years still. And that's about it. Okay. So, lastly, um, I want to say a great big thank you to all of you thank you so so much for all of the support that you've given me over the years i could not do it without you really truly could not i would not be anywhere as elaborately into this as i am without you guys uh, i hope you have all enjoyed the phoenician antics thus far and will continue to enjoy it to the very end and even when it ends, I promise you there's always more stuff to do. There are so many stories that have developed within the world of Ferreliar, which is why I gave the series its official super title, Ferelian Legends. Here's to many more years of shenanigans. Also, this poster is available in the link below. <laughs>